Now to start off with our snowflake catcher, we're gonna need a few different supplies. You're gonna need a piece of paper, you're gonna need something to draw with, such as a marker or a pencil, and you're also gonna need something to trace. I'm gonna use the circle paint tray. Now you don't have to use anything, but I just like to make a nice circle. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this and I'm going to place this right in the middle of my paper. Not up here at the top, not here in the corner, but right in the middle. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna draw a circle that goes all the way around here. But I'm just going to leave a small space at the top. So I'm going to trace right around and I'll leave a little space at the top. Now this is gonna be the head of our snowflake catcher. Right here at the top, you want to add a little line that curves up and then down, like this. And that's going to be the nose. Next, we want to draw the mouth. So it's very easy. Just go ahead and draw a line that goes straight across. Then you're just going to add a nice big smiley face on here. I like to add a few teeth in here. I'm just going to make a few little round teeth and I usually just kind of put these right along the top like this and then you can also put a few at the bottom as well. Now, I'm not going to add a tongue in here because we're gonna add this with paper later but if you want to, you can go ahead and draw a tongue in here if you'd like. Now, I want to add a scarf on here. To draw the scarf, I'm just going to add a line that's going to curve down like this, and I'll draw another one over here. Next, starting here, I'm gonna draw a line that's gonna go down, I'm gonna come across here, and then I'm going to bring it right up to here for the bottom of our scarf. Your next step is you wanna draw two lines along the side here. So I'm gonna add one line here, and then I'm going to add another line coming down here for the body. Now, if you want to, you can always add some arms coming off of here, but I'm just going to leave it like this. Now, right here, we're going to draw a line that goes down. It's going to come over, and then it's gonna come back up for the tail of the scarf. And I like to add a zigzag line right across the bottom here. Now, one of the things that you want to add on here is some hair. Now, hair is definitely one of the trickiest things to draw. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple different ways that you can draw hair. Now, I've got some of these different little uh, examples of the heads right here. So let's say you wanna draw some simple boy hair. So you could draw hair like this. You can start at the nose and you could draw some little zigzag line hair. You could do that on both sides. Maybe you wanna have some curly hair. You just start right here and you can just draw some curly lines that go all the way down. And do the same thing over here. Maybe you wanna keep it really simple and you just want to add some little lines like this for your hair. If you wanna make some girl hair, it's very easy. All you wanna do is start right here at the nose and let's say you wanna have straight hair. You can just draw a line that's gonna come down and it'll go out like this. Do the same thing on both sides. Just curve out and then down. And what you will do is you'll just draw this over to the scarf or to the body. So I'll just draw mine right over to the scarf. Maybe you wanna have some wavy hair. So just do the same thing. Start at the nose and make a wavy line that comes down and do the same thing over here. And you can see this hair is a little bit longer, so then I'll just make a little wavy line that goes right to the body. Now, maybe you just wanna have some pigtails on here. To do that, I'm just going to add two little bumps right here, and then decide what kind of pigtail you wanna have. Maybe you wanna have some curly hair, maybe you wanna have, you know, straighter hair, whatever you want for your pigtails. Those are just some different ways on how to draw some hair. Now, I'm just going to start right here. I'm just gonna add some simple hair like this. So I'm gonna add a few little zigzag lines here and a couple more on this side as well. 
Next, I want to add the hat. I'm going to start here and I'm just going to add some bumpy lines right across the top and then I'm going to bring them right down to here. Now let's say that you wanted to, instead of adding a hat, you wanted to add some earmuffs on here. What you could do is just start here and draw kind of like a puffy cloud shape on each side. Then draw one line that curves up and down and a taller one right here. And that's an easy way to draw some earmuffs on there. Our next step for the hat is we want to add the top of it. Now you could make this just a nice big curve, you can make it pointy, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to draw a line that's going to come up and down here. And at the top I'm just going to add a bumpy line. Now the next step is we want to add some details on here. So one of the things I want to do is add some details onto the hat. I'm just going to make some nice little zigzag lines that go across the top of the hat for some detail. So I'm just going to put a few zigzag lines up here. I also want to add some detail lines on the scarf and the jacket. I'll just go and make some very simple wavy lines on here for a quick little detail. And then when I get to the scarf tail down here, I'm going to do the same design, but it's going to go the other way just like this. And then on the jacket, I'm going to add just some spots on here and little circles just to keep it simple and add a nice pattern on here. So here's your basic drawing of your snowflake catcher. Now the next step is to begin coloring this. Now, to begin coloring this, you can do lots of different things. You can use crayons, markers, colored pencils, whatever you want. You just want to make sure that you're going to color the entire picture and then also the background. Now, I'm actually going to be using markers for my actual picture and then I'm going to paint the background. And something that I like to do because this is a snowflake catcher is I like to add the snow. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a white crayon and I'm just going to color in some small white circles. I'm going to push down hard and I'm just going to color these in here. And when I paint over these, these will end up popping through. Now you can also do this with a white oil pastel or if you have regular white paint. Now if you don't have that, that's totally fine. But you want to try to add some snowflakes into your picture. Now I'm going to go ahead and start coloring this and I'm going to color in the entire picture. So like I said, I'm going to use markers on here and then some paint in the background. Now, one of the last things that you want to do is you want to add a tongue to your snowflake catcher. So I'm going to take this small red piece of paper and I'm just going to take my marker. I'm going to draw a nice big smiley face on here, nice and tall, with a little line going right down the middle. Then all you want to do is cut this out. Then once you have it cut out, all you're going to do is glue it into the mouth of your little character. Now I like to kind of just fold the very top here and that way it just kind of sticks up a little bit better. So then just go ahead, take your glue 
add just a very small amount of glue onto this edge here. Stick it on, fold it down, and then there you go. You have your own little snowflake catcher. Might have to hold this tongue down just for a second. But there you go. And you can always go and take, if you have some white paint or white crayon, you can add some little dots onto the tongue. But there you go. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson.